tell us about uh, your last experience here. The, um, we made a film which was called Suddenly Last Winter, which told the story of us as a couple and um, what happened when the former government tried to make a law on civil unions in So Italy. in Italy. So it was a mixture of political film but also in, uh, intimate uh, portrait of our life. And uh, we were at the Hagen at that time twice, and then in this uh, big multiplex cinema as well. And uh, all the screenings were also sold out. And I mean, our experience here is that our screenings are always sold out. <laughs> you're quite spoiled. <laughs> uh, so you're here now with a new film called Italy, Love It or Leave It. And it deals with your ambivalence towards your, your country. This uh, topic about leaving or not our country is actually happened to everybody, but also to us every day, in fact, because it's very pushy. You want to force me to, to move abroad and then try to convince him to stay. So we decide to take a trip, which is also a, an attempt to, to update the images of our country all around the world, because we realize that people still think about Italy connected with the glorious past, you know, all of the icons who made dream all around, like uh, pasta, pizza, mandolino, Sofia Loren, Torre di Pisa, Gondola, Fellini, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, but it's not, because of course all of those things are trembling apart and they, they are connected with the past, which unfortunately doesn't uh, seem the Italy of nowadays. And also, there is another side of people all around the world which always thinks about Italy connected with Berlusconi. So we want to explain that Italy is not just Berlusconi and is not just mozzarella and mandolino. So we were looking for an, a, a new images of our country. It's a quite, quite a bleak portrait of Italy, despite the wonderful nature and the good food. Um, but what's most disheartening is the extreme aggression from, from several people in the film when you try to point these things out. Actually, that was quite surprising for us because, um, you know, w we have many friends and when we ask, and nobody votes for Berlusconi, so we often think, about who votes for Berlusconi? <laughs> And uh, even we, uh, when we asked all the people, nobody said that they ever voted for him. But I mean, he had the major major party, so somebody had voted for, uh, voted for him. So we wanted to to confront them and um, and get to know these people, really like like to understand why or, or what they like so much uh, about him. And we were really surprised by the uh, aggression of these people because when you try to to discuss, you actually can't discuss because it's, it's like being in love with somebody. When you are in love with somebody, you can't criticize this person. And uh, people wouldn't listen uh, to the criticism because for them it's, it's their ideal love. And um, they were just repeating their slogans and, uh, and that's it. We are very honest. We show both sides. There are plenty of troubles, everybody knows. But there are also good... Uh, aspect and we want to change our attitude and want to be focused for once about the good aspects because everybody's always complains everybody's always talking about the trouble but uh, i promise you italy is still a marvelous country full of uh, marvelous people very passionate very generous very brilliant and uh, but unfortunately in the past uh, maybe 17 years uh, we didn't add any representation of that side of the country. Thanks for taking your time. Thank, Thank you, you for coming invited. to the festival and coming to us here tonight. And good luck with your film and your next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Tak, tak.